Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Hilo Goddess and this is a pick a card video. Um, this video is going to be all about who is crushing on you. I'm going to be talking about the person, their traits, their appearance or anything that comes about or my guides will tell me. So we got three options this time. The first option is the Ace of Cups on the very left. The second option is the Three of Cups in the middle. And lastly, we have the Ace of Wands on the very right. So the timestamps are going to be given in the description box below as usual. And without further ado, let's hop into the first option, the Ace of Cups. Okay, so if you're chosen the option number one, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Cups, Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and lastly, we have the Devil card for you guys. So um, let's see what do we have for you guys in regards to who is crushing on you right now. Um, let's see who has a crush on you or who is developing a crush on you. Let's see. Um, what do we have? Okay, so number seven seems to be quite recurring in your reading. So that could be a significant number for you guys. Okay, so for some of you, I'm even getting that this person lives, either they live really close to you or they used to live really close to where you guys live. Um, yeah, so I don't know who this person is, but maybe this person has moved now and they live somewhere else. But for some of you, I'm getting that they kind of live close by. Um, and for some of you, I even got it, um, got the message like somebody lives in the same building as you so that could also be um a message for someone i'm also getting this person um let's see okay for some of you i'm even getting that um this person that has a crush on you you would be so surprised if you got to know who has a crush on you um, because it's almost like whenever you talk to this person or whenever you interact with them or whenever you um, observe this person or see them, um, it's almost like you always find this person busy in their own things and they're always um, probably worried about some things, but it never includes you. At least that's what you um that's how you see them and that's how you perceive this person that they are the least concerned about you um or that they're the least bothered by you but i feel like you know what your person like the person that is crushing on you they might seem like you're gonna be so surprised if you got to know um because i feel like this person might seem that they're probably busy in some things and like um that would be the last person for you to um, expect um, to have a crush on. Yeah. Definitely. So whoever this person is, for some of you, um, this is a very random person. For some of you, there could be more than one. Definitely. For some of you, yeah. I'm sorry. I keep saying some of you. <laughs> I know it's wrong, but um, there are three people. Okay, I'm getting three people for some of you. Again. <laughs> um, yes, and let's see what else is here. Um, okay, this person I feel um, they may not be living with their family. Somebody's feeling nostalgia about maybe this person has fallen apart. I don't know what, what's happened, but this person does not live with their family anymore. Um, somebody does not, yeah. So maybe this person has moved. You know, that's why I was getting that somebody's moving, like, moving to a different place. Or um, maybe this person is moving to a different place and they're kind of feeling remorseful, I'm hearing. Remorseful about it. Um, yeah, not the best. Okay. And for some of you, I'm also getting that this person could be someone who has been, um, like this person has done something with you. This could be a project. This could be um, some sort of a performance that you both enacted in. Like, I don't know. 
this has to be something it's going to be different for every single one of you but i do see that um you both were like you both did participate in something for some of you this could even be a childhood friend um or someone you're getting to know now so maybe you used to study with this person but then things happened and this person went separate ways you went separate ways and life happened basically but now you both like probably you saw this person around the block and you know you both kind of interacted and um things kind of sparked from there that's what i'm getting maybe you yeah reconnected to an old friend that could be for some of you um somebody's sun sign could be in a fire sign aries leo sagittarius somebody could also be a capricorn because we have the devil over there um so that's somebody has flared nostrils um and let's see really defined cupid's bow okay and um okay now for those of you if this is an old friend or if this is someone that you're reconnecting with it doesn't have to be an old friend it could be someone you probably knew like maybe casually for a certain while and then you guys went separate ways and now you are reconnecting with this person sort of a reconciliation we can say um but whoever this person is i feel like they feel that you you have changed a lot um since the last time they saw you it's almost like somebody saying to someone um you've changed since the last time i saw you kind of like that um I'm also getting this person has a way of tilting their head to a side like I don't know how to explain it but this is how this person smiles sometimes like they tilt their head towards I think the left side a little bit that's how this person like smiles I don't know that's kind of an expression that's kind of a um yeah that's how this person is basically that's what they're showing me so maybe somebody does that um yeah i don't know i'm even getting that this person might be married for some of you that's a bit creepy um if they're not married this person might be involved with kids in some way maybe um I don't know in some sort of an ng or something but yeah that's what i'm getting so that could be the case as well yeah i have to say whoever this person is they they're not really showing me if they're an introvert or not like if this is this person is an introvert or an extrovert they're not showing me that but i can sense from their energy and how much they are being open for me to read um from their energy they're really closed off i'm going to be very honest this person is closed off um they may not be so happy right now i don't know i don't know what's going on in this person's life their finances and everything seem to be sorted and i feel like this person's professional life is quite stable um that's how this person is they are quite stable um this person may look unapproachable also sometimes not sometimes always they may look unapproachable they may look like they're serious and they're like um not someone to mess with or not someone who um people should mess with kind of a vibe that they project But I feel like this person is just kind of not happy. That's the best way I can put it. Um they might be in a relationship which is not making them happy also. Um I feel so probably yeah, it's like it's just not doing for them. And now, if this person is not in a relationship, they recently got out of something like a relationship kind of a thing. So maybe this person was dating someone or they could be in a relationship and yeah there you go um somebody has somebody is trying to grow out their hair i see i feel like it's a masculine energy that's trying to grow out their hair 
that's a very specific one um really tall i see someone black wearing black all black and along with boots i see um this person they want to be left alone and this person i feel um somebody could be a leo over here you your person um okay i feel like this person this person's desire for you is really strong um i don't know it's like nothing is making them happy and they think that you can make them happy but can you i don't know um because if, because the person needs to be happy from within and then we can add up to their happiness we cannot create it if it's not there you know so this person is kind of living in an illusion i would say and we got the devil card over here so i'm not surprised by that um definitely somebody could also be a libra or a scorpio and talking of introverted we actually got a card now which says that they are introverted um but i still feel they're not completely introverted i feel like this person's kind of in the middle they're not completely introverted um i feel like this person can handle people as well as alone time like both of the things um definitely this person feels that you are kind of like their how do i say um like their buddy or like okay if this person has ever called you that like if they ever called you like you're my buddy and stuff like that i feel like what this person is trying to mean is that this person thinks that you and them are very much similar when it comes to your outward behavior and how you perceive the world um that's that's why i'm getting um you both may have leadership qualities also that's why i'm getting again and um the things that they're interested in somehow you are also interested in the same things or the things that you are interested in this person is also gravitated towards those things um somebody's name starts with an n i'm getting in also p b and i'm also getting d these could be your initials could be their initials um and okay i feel like this person could be slightly um i have to say they could be slightly egoistic um and why i say that is because i feel like this person does not want to like bend in front of anyone they don't want to like change or like i don't know how to put it you know i i'm not able to put these things like the message that i'm getting into right words but the best way i can explain what i'm getting about this person is they are like um afraid to put out what is inside of them like if they feel something for you they are afraid to put it out like on the table in front of you because they don't want to appear not that they don't want to like be rejected yeah that is one of the fears as well but i feel like the biggest fear is that um this person this person does not want to seem like they need someone or they want someone or i don't know um i'm still not able to explain but i got that this person could be slightly egoistic that's what i got um and again yeah just take it your own way and okay i'm also getting um there is a work trip i hear somebody will take a trip for work up to a place they are going to travel from a colder environment to a warmer i'm hearing specifically from a cold to a warm place um and i feel like there's going to be an event which you will attend over there um i'm also getting star of the show so maybe somebody does something for which they have to be in the public's eye um or you will be in the public's eye during that event um that's another thing 
okay all this time when you are doing all these things and you're you're like really um you're moving away from the things which are not really making you happy i feel like this person's doing quite the opposite yeah um could be an air sign also but this person seems intelligent um intelligent but a bit stubborn they don't want to hear other people's opinions also um and okay i feel like somebody has a really pointy nose also i see arched eyebrows um this person is not being kind to themselves i feel like that is something um like really they're being really harsh on themselves and it's being reflected out definitely i didn't i didn't really expect this reading like this reading i supposed would be really light hearted and um it just became so heavy i was not expecting that and i surely am not liking the energies in the environment right now so yeah i'm just going to finish it off but let's see what else is here this person definitely likes you a lot i see over here but they feel that you are out of their reach yes straight up out of their reach um this person um yeah there's so much conflict going on inside of their mind they see you as someone who is above their level so um yeah the way they see themselves It's not that they don't respect themselves they respect themselves but they see you even above themselves that's that's what I'm getting and yeah that's all I'm going to finish off this part right here if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up that really helps me out and it and it really helps my channel grow and also comment down below whatever you liked from the video and whatever you would like to see on my channel Um also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is catered to your own needs your own requirements and your own situation then you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay so if you're chosen the option by second these are the cards i have for you i have the 3 of swords the 10 of pentacles the star card the hierophant the hanged man um strength 5 of cups 6 of pentacles death and lastly we have the knight of wands for you guys so now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to who is developing a crush on you or who already has a crush on you um we could get more than one um for you guys i mean it depends on the messages that i'm going to get so now let's see what do we have from our guides and i'm going to be telling you about the zodiac signs throughout the whole video so yeah as i'm going to get them okay so um um this person has a bit of a sneaky attitude and what i mean by sneaky is um the person that they're showing me this is someone who is um if you ask them something they don't talk to you like how do i say they i don't want to say that they talk in circles but this person has a bit of a like clever mind this person is a bit clever not in a bad way um I mean people might assume this person to be like um a bit bad I'm going to be very honest but they're not um just because of how clever this person is or how clever they seem they actually are not bad or anything like that they are clever I'm not going to lie um this person is not innocent um that's for sure um because they're really intelligent let's just put it this way um this person could be someone who's really good with mind games also um really good when it comes to extracting information um that's another thing and this person feels like um how do i say they feel like oh that's so beautiful i actually heard somebody saying you're changing me 
but it's like okay i'm feeling all excited um, you know whenever i get these kind of messages so it's like somebody you know when people fall in love they change um and they change like in a good way in a positive way they change for the better that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting from this person that they are saying to you or they're thinking in their head about you that you're changing me um and that's so beautiful you're definitely changing this person in a way you may not even be able to understand or know you may not even know how you're changing this person but this person is being changed because of you so that's a very beautiful message right there and then we have um i feel like this person um now i'm getting a very interesting message this person wherever they live i feel like there is a water body over there or this person um like okay this is what i'm getting wherever this person goes to work or wherever they go every single day or usually wherever they go they see a water body that's what i'm getting um this person could be a water sign scorpio cancer pisces or you could be and then we also have capricorn somebody could be a capricorn as well um i'm also getting um it's almost like everything is against this connection that's how they feel like everything is against this connection um even the people that they have discussed with regarding you i feel like those people have not been in um and it's not just one or two i feel like they have discussed with quite a bit of people but nobody seems to understand or should i say people are kind of talking from logic they are not understanding this person's feelings but and this person's own mind also is kind of opposing the idea of entertaining you in their mind but this person's feelings are kind of um they're running short on patience i'm hearing so this person is running short on patience which might also mean that this person might make a move towards you soon um maybe text you maybe come towards you maybe ask you um for a favor of some kind maybe meet up with you or some or something of that sort that's what i'm getting i'm also getting this person will start following you on social media um if that is not happening already um then that might happen somebody could be an earth sign or you could be an earth sign or you could have an earth sign somewhere um i'm also getting you are going to travel somewhere or this person is going to come towards you if they are not um in the same vicinity as you i feel like this person is going to travel and come towards you whilst you are busy with your finances or with your work or with your um lifestyle whilst you're busy with yourself and your stability i feel like that's the one thing that you're focusing on right now this person is coming towards you Oh okay not just them okay they're correcting me they're saying it's not them um it's a lot of changes basically a lot of changes are coming towards you and one of those changes can also mean this person can also be this person that's what i'm getting um so definitely somebody is wearing the color red over here i see that um and um let's see okay somebody is also gaining weight somebody is tracking their calorie count somebody is tracking their calories okay um and how many calories are they burning in a day i see that um and let's see okay i'm also getting this person um how do i say this person really desires you and it's almost like um this person and their desire for you is so strong that they are willing to do anything in order to get to you almost i do want to say somebody's name might start with an e or a v or um yeah that's what i'm getting and 
I'm also getting this person might be someone who um um how do I say I actually got this message for pile number one as well this person could be someone you're not expecting at all or maybe it's not that you're not expecting them to crush on you but it's almost like you do not think about them I mean you do not think about them that often and you do not think about um this person so frequently or like they don't come into your mind that's what i want to say they don't come they don't cross your mind as much um so maybe you don't know this person that well or you don't think about them because probably you don't meet this person that much but this person like whoever this is it might surprise you a bit um that's why i'm getting as well and somebody could be a sagittarius here or somebody's into casual relationships i see somebody's moon sign specifically is going to be in an air sign which would be gemini libra aquarius yeah somebody's into casual relationships this person might want a casual relationship with you i'm just saying um and also let's see sylvie or sylvia that could be somebody's name but i just heard that um yeah and okay let me see i also see somebody manifesting someone it's almost like um somebody is doing some sort of a spell or i hear what magic so i don't know what that is um but maybe somebody's doing that or some sort of a manifestation through some specific technique um could be you could be this person but somebody is manifesting someone um and that's working if you're doing that it's working so um just know that um your person is annoyed like so annoyed is they don't know what's going on it's like if you're manifesting them especially this person is like freaking annoyed it's like they're not able to figure out what's going on and like yeah this person is just getting um wrapped around your finger <laughs> that's the best way i can explain um and okay somebody here gets a lot of attention a lot and okay okay i got that so whoever your person is i feel like they are worried about all the attention that you are getting or about the options that you have that's why i'm getting as well and for some of you i mean i'm even getting that you both may have a crush on each other there is somebody um there's like this mutual feeling i get between you and them um yeah definitely and i feel like nobody's speaking the truth here it's like it's hidden um in the one who might speak the truth would be you i feel um or one who has the courage to speak i'm also getting that um for you guys there is somebody who is a bit intuitive here so um yeah it could be you could be a person but whoever is the one that is intuitive i feel like they kind of know or they might be having dreams of the other person they might be having dreams of yeah if that person is intuitive then they might be having your dreams if that is exactly what i am getting here um and i feel like nobody's really speaking the truth here um yeah I'm also getting number nine and number five is really significant over here. Maybe that could be number five. Maybe um you may have an age gap of five years between you and this person. Between you, yeah, you may have an age gap. Um, and number nine could be significant when it comes to your um life path number. Um, yeah, that could be the case. Or somebody's wishes might be. um getting fulfilled right now 
that's another thing somebody could be an aries over here i do see that as well and yeah somebody is thinking of traveling with their dog i see um so maybe you're going on a road trip or something like that and something about somebody got a haircut recently um yeah okay um somebody also recovered from something i see um this could be some sort of a this could be a fever i'm getting for some of you it could be um any sort of a sort of an health like i'm getting it's an health issue it's a health issue that's what i'm getting for a lot of you this could be something else also uh which somebody has recovered from and they feel completely brand new after this after this recovery and now this person is making is going to decide upon something i feel um okay i'm also getting um like somebody saying just wait for a bit more like i'm getting like two weeks something might happen in the upcoming two to three weeks um or two months even um yeah between that time frame something might take place this person might say something they might break their silence if somebody has been silent um definitely this person is really mature i have to say they're really good with um this person is well off i i do want to say and this person is um at least that is how you see this person you view them this person is um really understanding also um i do want to say that maybe the first time you met this person you may not have thought about them that way i'm also getting for a lot of you that the very first time you met this person you may not have thought that they are as understanding as they will turn out to be i'm getting this person is going to be not just understanding but also gentle which this person is not going to appear in the very first go i feel like the very first time you met this person they might seem quite detached and also minding their own business I also feel like this person has a really chill vibe and they seem like a really cool person. Um that's how they feel they seem in the beginning. But um I feel like on the very inside this person is really warm and they're really sensitive and the people that they get close to they almost become clingy to them. Like they almost wanna yeah that's that's the best way i can explain this person's behavior so that's why i'm getting for you guys and if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up that really helps me out and i really truly really appreciate that and also um comment down below whatever you liked from the video and anything you would want to see in the future and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me which is catered to your own needs your requirements and your own situation then you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time Okay, so if you're chosen the third option, these are the cards I have for you. I have the Five of Swords, the Fool card, Nine of Pentacles, the Lovers, Justice, Four of Wands, Six of Wands, Five of Wands, Temperance, and lastly we have the Page of Pentacles for you guys. So for the zodiac signs, I'm actually sensing there could be fire signs in this group because we have lots of wands. Um, yeah, there are literally a lot of wands cards in this uh, pile so that would be Aries Leo Sagittarius I'm also getting an additional message about somebody having their moon sign specifically either in Leo or it's going to be in Taurus I'm also hearing Virgo for some people somebody could also be um, let me see somebody could be a Cancer somebody could also be a Capricorn And I'm also getting Aquarius vibes over here and Sagittarius as well. So those are the zodiac signs that I'm getting. And now let's see what do we have for the messages in regards to um, who is having 
a major crush on you around the time when you're watching this video so let's see what our guides have for us okay um I see somebody who's quite intuitive over here. Now, you could have fire signs, not fire signs, water sign somewhere prominently placed, but I accidentally said fire. So maybe you are a fire sign. But regardless of the fact that you have a water sign somewhere prominently placed or not, I feel like you are quite intuitive and your skills are really developing around this time um yeah somebody's like really in touch with their gut feeling their intuition it's like you're almost all the times your hunch and like all the feelings that you get it's like it ends up happening you know you're getting like crazy coincidences at this point yeah i hope i do, do not lose my voice um in this one um yeah but i see you being like i see somebody being hurt over something somebody said like it's because of someone's words that this person is hurt somebody said something to you um yeah or maybe you said something to someone i don't know but i do see somebody being heartbroken um oh okay i get it so they're saying that um there is somebody who is hurting in the background and you're not even aware of that. You might be aware of it through your intuition, like you might have feelings here and there. But all in all, I feel um, you really are not aware of who this person is and um, everything that this person is going on, like this person is going through. Um, that's kind of the vibe over here. Something about the number three, which is really significant over here. Um, number four as well. I'm also getting um, there's something about somebody has two siblings or three siblings. That's also what I'm getting over here. Um, yeah, definitely. And let me see. Okay, somebody is also gaining a lot of money or gaining a lot of respect in a community i don't know what this person does but that's why i'm getting also well this person is well respected or you are now the person that has a crush on you i feel like this person is in a bit of a twisted situation right now um this could be somebody who is an earth sign but or if they are not an earth sign they're telling me that this person is acting like an earth sign which would mean um i mean in this situation specifically this person is just being quite reserved and at the same time they are simply not revealing their moves like what what's going on in their head basically i'm also getting somebody's name might start with an m or a p i'm also getting a d and h and g that's what i'm getting for the initials and there is something about this person i'm also getting a random message and it's actually talking about somebody being in a relationship so it's almost like maybe this person is in a relationship but or it seems that they are in a relationship or they are um kind of like connected to somebody else or involved with somebody else but they have a crush on you let me just put it that way so it might seem that this person's kind of like involved with somebody else and they're like in their own little world but actually this person has a huge crush on you and they are crushing on you right now that's why i'm getting also and whatever this relationship is it's kind of not working out basically it's just a mess it's a hot mess that's very specific for someone um yeah and you know this situation will apply to the person if you are not like in a regular contact with the person that i am talking about like the person that is that seems to be in a relationship and you're just not in contact with this person then i think that's uh, where this message is going to apply because that's the kind of vibe that I am getting over here You actually do not know a lot about what's going on in this person's life as well um, That's why I'm getting something about um, this person is just Like they are having these heavy feelings and these heavy emotions Somebody's going through a lot right now like a lot 
um and it's too much to the point where it's kind of like even when i touch these cards i am i can feel my energy being literally drained completely and it's just too much too overwhelming um somebody could be a pisces over here um this person they might like to sing they might like to paint they might like to um engage in a certain hobby i feel like this is something creative like really creative some form of an art i have to say and if this is not like um this could even be as simple as probably playing a musical instrument or um i don't know something which is um which could be called an art that's what i'm getting but this person is going through a lot like they're dealing with a lot of stuff emotionally especially um and that's one of the biggest reasons why this person is not reaching out to you because they have too much on not just on their plate but on their mind and in their life and it's like you know they're kind of showing me like the vision of a wardrobe which is um like you know how it's like stuffed to the brim and you cannot put anything inside it and when you open the door like when you literally open the wardrobe all the stuff inside it it's going to fall on top of you so that's kind of the vibe and it just becomes a mess that's kind of what this person's life feels like it's like they have so much stuff to work through they have so much stuff to deal with and this person just keeps on like i have to say they just keep on letting it get piled up one after the other and at the same time this person is um how do i say they're kind of delaying it you know they are not sorting things out they're kind of like postponing it um yeah just procrastinating like okay i'll deal with it i'll deal with it and that's why this person has got too much on their plate at this point it's not even a plate i just described what the scenario is um and yeah whoever this person is they just cannot handle it anymore they just cannot it's like they just cannot you know this person is not in a good condition um i'm also hearing sleepless nights maybe somebody is not able to sleep at night somebody is not getting proper sleep or somebody is being deprived of sleep because of something i don't know what is it um this person has always been attracted to you always let me just tell you that since the time they met you they've always been thinking about you that way i'm hearing <laughs> okay yeah they've been thinking about you that way i don't know why i just literally giggled right now um but it just feels such a cute and adorable energy it's like this person is um they've always been not just fascinated by you but it's almost like um you are also a mystery to this person for some reason yeah um no matter how much you have communicated with this person or not this person is still fascinated by you and is even more fascinated by you at this point than they were probably on the very first day um yeah this person still thinks about you and they will continue to because that's just simply your energy and something about your energy and their energy really connects on a different level and i'm pretty sure this thing is not one sided i feel like you also feel something towards this person whoever they are i feel like you also find them attractive if you do not have like a major crush on this person i would like i would definitely say that you at least do fancy this person or do find this person attractive um that's that's kind of the vibe so i feel like it's not like oh i'm so thrown off by this person no that's not the energy i feel like this is someone you also like um so do not like make let your brain go immediately to the one or to the person that you are so unattracted by you're so appalled by no that's not the one that uh, my guides are talking about they're talking about somebody else um this person however they're keeping to themselves i'm hearing i'm hearing it again and again they're keeping to themselves and what they say um like what they mean by uh, keeping to themselves when they say it 
is um, this person might be having a detox time. It's almost like this person is wanting to cut everyone out, all of their friends, um, social media. Um, I don't know. Basically, this person is just wanting some alone time, I have to say, solitude. But it's almost like I'm hearing detox. So a lot of people around them may not be able to understand what this person is going through. But this person just simply wants to be alone. That's that's all they want right now. They don't want to talk to anyone. They don't want to explain things to people. The, that's the last thing they want to do right now, especially. So whoever this person is, they're the one who is crushing on you. And... um. Now let's see what else do we get. Okay. Um, yeah. Somebody is eating fish. I see over here. It's a specific... I don't know what this is. I, I really don't know. Um, but somebody is eating a fish. Or it's seafood. I don't know. Um, some sort of a seafood. But that's what i see over here and i also see that you're going to be attending or you recently attended a big event yeah and um you met up with people from your old life or from your past i don't know or you reconnected with some people from the past that's what i'm getting also um so that's for some of you and there's something about the number six and the number seven that's quite um, significant over here as well. There are a lot of synchronicities over here. I wouldn't be surprised if you keep hearing your person's name just about everywhere or if you keep seeing their initials, whatever the initials are, literally. Um, I just heard CK, so I don't know. Um, those could be somebody's initials. Um This person has kind of put you on a pedestal, if I be honest. And that's one of the biggest reasons why this person, um, even if they do get a chance, I feel like this person would feel and would downplay themselves and would underestimate that it's never going to happen between you and them. And like, they'd be, yeah, it's just not even a possibility in their mind let me just put it that way they have put you on a pedestal that is way above them um yeah that's what i'm getting and this person let's talk about i feel like physical attraction is the base of it all like that's the base of everything um this person is extremely attracted to you physically extremely and um you could also be attracted to this person as well. That's why I'm getting also. Yeah, something about bats. Um, and this person might also be battling with some form of an addiction. Whether it's going to be um, alcohol or it's going to be smoking or I don't know. It's going to be... Even if it is not these typical sort of addictions, like it could be something which is quite unconventional. You know, sometimes um, like, I don't know, social media could be an addiction also. So um, just, yeah, keep an open mind. This person is, is addicted to something. But to be very honest, I actually heard um, drinking for some of you. This person could be or could have been addicted to it in the past. Um, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, definitely. I'm also getting somebody's making all the wrong choices. All of the wrong choices right now. I don't know what's going on with this person's life. But it's like, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay, but this person will speak the truth. Um, regardless of what's going on in their life, when it comes to you, the truth is going to come out. Um, but just give this person some time. They just need, like, I'm hearing, 
let it all simmer down let it all cook in their brain it's actually raw right now let everything cook inside of their brain let it all process and when it's all going to simmer down they will find out a way not just that they will find out a way it's actually going to urge um them from within and they will have to speak up about it so don't worry about um them kind of keeping it all in that's not going to happen i feel like this person will speak up this person if they're far away from you there is physical distance do not worry this person is coming towards you um and i also see text messages coming in one after the other like lots and lots and lots something about the number 8 also i'm getting over here um also there are a lot of obstacles standing between you and this person um it's almost like a lot of things are stopping this person from coming to you this person will still find a way um you and this person have some sort of a connection i feel like you connect with this person in a way that you do not connect with other people either this could be your soulmate or this could be like this person could be your past life lover or something of that kind i'm also hearing karmic so maybe a karmic partner but i do want to say that this person and you are similar in a way which is really beautiful and inexplainable and that's what connects you two together it's like this person can understand you very deeply if they try if they just be patient with you and you can understand this person quite deeply if you try to be patient so that's why i'm getting for you guys if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already that really helps me out and that really helps my channel grow and do keep in mind that this is a general reading so if you do wish to book a personal reading with me you can definitely email me and my email is given in the description box below thank you so much once again hope you all have a lovely day bye see you guys next time